Good morning, my lovely Pisces, and how are you doing this lovely morning? Pisces, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here this lovely morning. Yes, Lord, thank you. And thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to Pisces Studio. Thank you a million and one. Thank you for all your donations, and thank you for all the people that go onto my webpage and purchase my candle. This is the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This candle is here to um, get rid of everything that you want. That's why I got them mirrors in there, right? This is for anything that you feel like is not going right or that you feel like something somebody is not being right with you or doing something to you that is just not right. And you know it. And you know it, right? You feel like, I can't get past this, or I can't, it feels like your life ain't moving, or feel like things is just staggering around you, okay? This is the Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wealth, and Fertility candle. This is the candle that is for everything that you want that um, to go right in your life, okay? Um, you know that how they say everything is green is what you want in your life. You want things to grow. You want to um, see the fruits of your labor. You want to um, be healing. Um, you want to see your wealth, all right? You want to move on in your life in whatever it is, whether you want to have kids or you want, or you can't have kids, you want to have it. You want things to grow inside you. That's like the empire, all right? That handle reminds you of the empire. Growth, okay? Nurturing, fertility. Wealth. This is the love yourself candle. Ain't can't nobody love you like you. And this is the justice candle. This is for if you go to court. This is for if you get a divorce. This is if you fight in legal, any legal matter, whether it is um criminal, um, whether it is um fighting for your benefits, all right. Um Whatever it is, whatever core issues you have, this is the candle for it. I also want to say for those people that go to them Dollar General stores or the five and whatever you go, make sure that you look at them candles and that whatever you are purchasing from these places, you bring it home and you cleanse your candles. Um, my candles are made for me and these are my wax I use them. These are my wicks. And I know what I put into my candles, okay? Um, you don't know how many people are touching that candle that you have. Um, I do a lot with my um, queen bee during the summer, all right? Um, so make sure you know what you're doing with these candles, all right? People call me and tell me the candles are going black on them and this and that. You can't just say my candle's going black on me or it's got dark on me. It's a reason why it's like that. All right? Um, so be careful on what you do with these candles. These candles are not to be playing with. And if you don't know what you're doing, don't play with your candles, okay? Um, because I don't work no darkness, but um, you can bring anything to yourself if you don't know what you're doing, okay? This is um, the Sage and Apollo Santo. And I write on these bay leaves and I burn them to the universe, all right? But the Palo Santo and the bay, leaf, and the bay leaves and the um, um, sage is there to cleanse your energy in your space. And while you're cleansing your energy in your space, tell the universe, what are, you, what are you trying to do here? And what do you want? And then open the door and the window and air these energies out. We go to work. We have people in our lives. We got kids. Whatever it is, we see a person, whatever it is that you come in contact with, whether you're a nurse, whatever it is, you don't know what energies you carry. Not only that, you don't know if you're going to go out the door and make it back home. You don't know what is going on, but you always need to protect yourself, all right? This is the one, uh, this is the red uh, brick salt, uh, excuse me, the red brick dust. This is good to put on your doorways, all right, through your house and make and put it around your house. Or if you don't have a house, 
in front of your door in your apartment, all right? I have signs on my door, and I got door maps on my door that says, whatever evil you have or whatever energy that's not coming into my house that ain't good for me, to move it away from my home and my space. And I have I invested in things like that because that's how I live, all right? I, this is the way that I live, just, just like you go to church. Whatever you believe in, this is my beliefs, all right? It don't have to be yours. And I don't tell you what to do and how to do. If you go to church, that's your business. But I don't do no church. This is how, what I believe in. It's a way about the way I live, all right? I do not work darkness. I only work the light. This is the wall in the bath, and this is what we all need to be working on. Is the shadow side in our life, all right? Um... Some, some, some Pisces um, have that where they got this bad attitude. and I mean, they get crazy, all right? So just be careful and work with your self and your inner self and how you handle people and how you come off to people, all right? Um, what you do is what you get. What you put out is what you're going to come back with. Remember that. And that's to the world. Again, my oils come in oil form and in dry form. And you can put this in anything. But remember, be careful how you use these oils, especially when you mess with candles and things like that. You don't know what you're doing. Don't mess around with things, okay? You bring things to you that you, it's just like you want to pray on your ancestors and you want these, you don't know if these ancestors were murderers, Serial killers, rapists, you don't know what these answers were, but you're bringing these ancestors into your life. You're asking for it. Be careful what you're asking for. Be careful in what you're doing. All right? And you don't have to use any of this. It's just the way of how you are. It's what you bring to yourself. All right? Crystals and stones work in every part of your being and every part of your body. Okay, and they come in all shapes and form. All right, so study yourself. The more you study your spirituality, the more you grow, the more you change. And that means that people look at you in a different way and that you bring uh, what you want into your life. All right, and that's what it means. All right, and everything you do has a consequences to it. And remember that. And that is life, period. All right? I also have what I'm known for is my spiritual detox salt bath. And this is cave salt. It's not Epsom salt. It's cave salt. It's a big difference. This salt here, when you take a bath in it and you get up, your tub feel like you feel sandy. Feel like if you was on a beach. Right? If it got that same texture, that same feeling like if you was on the beach. It's a difference than taking an Epsom salt bath. No, this is actually feeling like that same feeling, that salty and that feeling when you're on the beach. And you know how they say when you're on the beach, you purify yourself. That 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 water and that sand is really good for your body. All right. Um, I also have herbs in the bag, and you can get all these herbs. And I know that I'm out on a lot of these herb baths. But um, I will stock them up. I'm trying to change everything about my online store. All right. Another thing I want to say, and it's important that you listen. I do readings. And I do the same day reading for you, per personal readings. And I do, um, or it can, you get it the same day or the day after. One thing you need to know. I am human like you. And I work three jobs. All right. Please um, have respect, and I'm not saying this to everybody. I do get people um, that are very cocky, and one thing about me is the way I deal with that is I will send you your money back, and you won't have a reading for me because you cannot bring that energy to me, all right? And um, I don't have a problem doing that, but I always treat people with respect, and when you order reading, I give it to you that day 
or I give it to you the next day. I do not do email readings. I do face-to-face -face reading because if you pay for it, I would like to see you. I would like for you to see me. All right? So the only thing that I ask, if you come with respect, right, you, you come into this door. But if you don't come with respect, don't waste your time. All right? Um, I hear people, well, I don't hear people. I hear a certain person, and then they want to tell me, well, I got off of work like I don't work. And um, I forgot I got something to do. But that's that's what you forgot, that you had something to do. Don't take it out on me. All right? I'm very easy. And when I get rid of people, I'm just as easy as I am. You don't even see it coming. I just don't answer to you. And over your name, it says, do not answer. And that's the title I put on your name. Okay? I don't answer to anything to your text or anything else. So if I don't do that for you, that means I'm not fucking with you. Don't waste your time. And do you understand? And I'm talking to people that get personal readings and that ain't everybody. Okay, don't play with me. Another thing, I, I get a lot of people that call me because I put a phone number down there. And they call me and they want to talk to me about what's going on in their lives. All right? That's called a private reading. It, it, it's not called, I'm um, calling me and let's talk about my, what's going on in my life. It's called a private reading. Okay? My phone number is not there Um, for whatever you think it is. Okay? It's called a private reading. And what I'm doing now is called a general reading. So if you don't know the difference between a private reading and a general reading, a general reading is for the world. And you can, if it fits you, it's for you. All right? A private reading is about you and only you and your situation. And that's what it's about. All right? And my phone number is there for that. All right? So remember that. All right, Pisces, let's get moving with this reading. Let's get moving with it. And I don't know what's going to come out, but we're going to get going with it. I hope that everybody is having a blessed morning. All right? And today is the 14th. Next month on the 14th, you know what that means. It's Valentine's Day. All right? It's Valentine's Day. Um, we are in that moon, right? The new moon. And today is um today is uh what is it? Is the moon is in Pisces, it's in your time, the wax the the white the wax crescent moon. And in 12 days, 12 days, we will see the new, the, um, the, um, we will see the full moon. And the full moon is when you see the moon, the whole moon. The new moon is when you don't see it. All right. Now, um, you know that Pisces, when it falls on Pisces, um, Pisces, the moon is in Pisces, a fruitful water moon, all right? Full of compassion and emotions, all right? So, new beginnings. Work out your own visions and dreams and intentions for your future. Take some time to listen to your feelings. And obtain some clarity around your visions. What is it that you desire? What do you want? All right. Now, the moon is in Pisces today. Right? And then tomorrow, the moon will still be around Pisces. But it will change. All right? It will change. All right? So... 
What I want to tell you is Pisces, today you're playing a big part and it plays a part in your life. All right, it plays a part in your life. But sometimes today it goes into areas. All right. All right now. So let's get going with this whole business here. Today is the 14th. And don't you forget that today that moon is on you, Pisces. It's on you. All right. And um, that moon is, you start to see a little, some of the moon, if you in a place where you see it, you know, where you can see it, because some places it's cloudy and all that. All right, so here we go. Art Michael and Jonah Art, please help me do this reading. Art Michael and Jonah Art, please help me do this reading. Please help me do this reading. Please help me do this reading. Ooh, ooh. Right here. Oh, good, 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 good. Now, divine intervision. They are expecting many tower moments in their life where it helps them to gain clarity on this connection. Somebody may, this person may be um, having a lot of tower moments in their life. Where they're going to be expected many, many time moments that's going to help them to be clear about what they desire and what they want. Lulu, what's going on? You want to come up here? Come on. Come here, Lulu. You know, Lulu will always be stopping the show. Always. My mommy's girl, she is so gorgeous. That little dog is precious and smart as a whistle. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know what to say about her little cute self. You want to get up here? Come here. All right, here we go. Art Michael, Jonah Art, please allow me to do this reading. Tell me what I need to know and what I need to see. Art Michael, Jonah Art, please allow me to do this reading. Tell me what I need to know and tell me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to know and tell me what I need to see. Love, baby, love, love, love. Pisces. All right. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. She wants me to pick her up. Okay. Now she's in a spot because she sits right next to the altar. That little girl's in the altar, huh? Tell me more about this love. These cards are flying out. Somebody watching, lurking, seeing, all right? Pisces, I know you're doing your own thing. I see that maybe somebody here needs to make a decision. Or Pisces, you may be moving along and not worrying about nothing, right? You may not be, you may be putting a lot of time into yourself. Or you may have somebody here that's watching you with a new love, a new life that's coming your way. And maybe, hopefully, that you know, you you somebody here needs to learn lessons, or you need, or you have choices, many choices. I feel like maybe you're falling in love with yourself, taking care of yourself, or you have something new coming in your life. Like I always ask God to bring me the new. All right. I already know what the old is, but bring me the new. And you know what, Pisces? You can end off whatever you had, right? In a good way. Because believe it or not, you may have people in your life to come in for one thing. And then you may have other people that you had in your life that are there to help you in anything you need. Even though y'all not together, live together. And they might have their own life. They still be there to help you. Like y'all have this kind of friendship or whatever. Or y'all develop a friendship from a, a relationship that you can always count on that person if you need anything. And I'm going to say something to you for real. Um, I didn't need a brace because I thought my car needed a brace. 
but it wasn't that at all. I got some, I called this guy and he went and picked up my truck from my job, okay? Took it, took the truck to get fixed, to take to get fixed, and this was yesterday. Come to find out, it was nothing. They just had to clean the wires or something from under my truck because it was messing with the, my sensors. And so, and he brought the truck back to the job. And that was all. Didn't charge me a dime, but, you know, but he has his own life and I got my own life. I'm not seeing him. He don't see me. But if I need something, he's there. And when I say he's there, he's there. All right? We might have not had a good relationship when we was seeing each other. And things might have not worked out, but he is there for me if I ask him to come. He ain't the kind of person that you have in your life that... All they want to do is fuck you. They don't want to do nothing for you but bring a brown bag to your house that's for them, not for you, and going to tell you, I'll bring the party. Yeah, you bring the party for your damn self. You ain't bring no party for me. You bring it for yourself. All right? And don't have nothing for you. And if you tell them something's going on in your life, you know what they say? This is the only thing they're going to tell you. Things is going to get better. You know why? Because they ain't got shit to offer you. Things is going to get better, but bring me the pussy and bring me your shit. But they ain't got nothing to give you, right? But when you um, really have a relationship with a person and y'all and two separate or whatever, and you can count on them, they will do for you. And they will always do for you because they know that you're a good person. But if you got somebody just looking at you for your body... That is not what you call somebody in your life that wants to do for you. That's just somebody saying, let's have sex. Let's have fun. Um, and you can meet these people in every corner. Any corner where they got a liquor store, a club, a bar, women. This is where these people be. And if that's what you're looking for people, then that's what you're going to get. All right? I don't go to these places. I don't have no reason to go. Some people refuse to grow up. Some people refuse to be, be an adult. And all they look at their life is something to play with. And so they treat you like they treat the world. It's like we don't, we're not in a commitment, but come and let me play with your body. Let me play with your emotions in your mind. And these kind of people are, they exist everywhere. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, Aces. Because um, that's what you attract people that are about shit. Don't want nothing. All they want to do is play with you. And most of these people, they do this not only to you, but to everybody. All right? They don't want to be with you. They want to have fun with you. And that's why it's not good to cross over to a different, um, like, if you got a friend and all of a sudden you start sleeping with them. What, what you think you're going to get from them? Nothing. Nothing. And these people may not, some people are married and some of these people may not live with people, but they look at you the same way they look at everybody. These people say they Christians, they believe in this and believe in it. Ain't no way the hell you going to believe in something and act a different way. But this is what we bring into our lives. But you got somebody here that is going through tower moments. Because, Pisces, you look like you're having yourself a great time and you're getting out of the situation. And somebody always looking and lurking to see who, what is going on in your life. And, you know, and choices. The thing is, you have choices. And you need to turn around and look at the tables and turn the tables and say, I'm the one that got choices. And I'm the one that's not going to be giving up my body. Like it's a playground and then wait for somebody to decide what they want to do with me. No, you need to see what people want with you, where they put you in and stop moving around and stop inviting yourself into people's life that don't really want to be, want you to be a part of the life that just want you to be a part of their playground. It's like these people say they own, just say that they are a club or they are a bar, right? And then you come into their cups or you come into their life or you come into this bar. So what do you do? You go into their life. And this is the lifestyle that you're going to live. And this is the lifestyle that you're going to be in their life. All right? It's 
like, honey, you got, and I'm telling you, I've been there, done that. But I don't live my life like that no more. I stopped living to to fit in with somebody or want to be, oh, I, but I want to be with you. First of all, if I want to drink, I have my own bar, right? I don't need nobody to bring me no drinks. I got my own bar. If I want to smoke, New Jersey, we can smoke, all right? We didn't think we want. I buy my own shit, all right? If I have habits. I don't have no damn habits. My habit is me and my spirituality. That's what I live for. I don't live for, I go to bed with a clear conscience. And you know what's crazy? These people that do damage in your life, they go to bed with a clear conscience. Because they don't think they do anything wrong to you. Because this is how they live. All right? This is how they live. They, It's like, let me tell you something. For anybody out there that sees people, that have other people in their life or they marry, whatever the situation may be, don't you ever think that these people, because a lot of women, a lot of men say, oh, well, they see me on the side because they're not happy at home. No, it's not that they're not happy at home. You are a playground to them. They don't have nothing to offer you. They don't want to have a career or a business or a, a relationship or a, a serious commitment with you. They they act like this because that's exactly how they see you, like a piece of gum, like a piece of trash, that they can use you and abuse you and promise you the world and never give you shit. Or you got to give some credits to these people that come into your life and say, I don't want this and I don't want that, but that's what you want. So if you get uh, caught up in that rapture of... I, they want and they want and oh, but I want a family with you and I want kids with you and I want this and that and they no good and damn where they don't want none, none of that with you. And these people tell you I want this with you and I want that and then they when it gets to that point, it's the next point. I'm gonna leave my wife. I'm gonna leave this person. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do and then you never see that. But what you do see is your body. Right in their hands to do whatever they want. Your mind, your spirit, and your soul. Right in their hand. Because what you believe in, the love. Because we're Pisces. And we give with, cup, with something in our cup. We don't come empty handed. We give. And you put up with a lot of shit until you can't put up with no more. And then they, they get the side of you that they never seen. Right? And that's the side of Pisces. People are afraid of the side of you. And I'm going to say this to y'all. Cross watchers. Pisces can love you. I mean love you. And it can take a long time for Pisces to get over you. But the day that Pisces get over you. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, Jesus. You better run. Run. For your life. Because it's not going to be good. Okay? Not going to be good. So, you have somebody here that's going through a terrible moment in their life. Right? Right? And they're going to gain this clarity about a connection. But Pisces, what goes around comes around. What you put out is what you get. And that's the way it is. And Pisces, you might have loved somebody once upon a time. Loved them. And somebody's looking back at the love and what they had with you. Right? But it's a choice here. And the choice is yours. Either you put up with it and you lay down. Or you make a move and move on to the right things in your life. Because you see, it's a staircase and it's love. All right? I don't call this love. I call this infatuation. Wanting what I want. And being used. Alright. Tell me more spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more spirits. Tell me more about this connection. A community. That means that again. You may. This person may have a lot of people around them, right? Um, maybe somebody um, 
maybe somebody go to church, somebody go to gym, or somebody you work with. Or um, somewhere where you go and you meet a lot of people. And this person likes to be around a lot of people. Right? Um, especially clubs and um, concerts and things where a lot of people go. Basketball games, football games, um, parties. A lot of gathering. This person loves to be in a lot of gathering. Right? Um, or you meet them at a, par a place where a lot of people hang at. You know? Um... But this person likes to be around a lot of people, right? They don't like being alone. They like to be around a lot of people, right? And this is where they meet people at, right? Function, gatherings, right? And so you might have met this person in a place like that, right? What is this wolf here for? What is the wolf here for? Like lurking and looking, like lurking and looking. Right, what, like, what are you, what, what's going on here? Look at this. Justice in the house. Justice in the house. And I see, when I look at this, I see a house and I see somebody with different beliefs, different nationality, different cultures. All right? I see Muslims. I see Christians. I see Catholics. I, around the world, what they believe in, who they are. All right, and they lurk, they see, right? The thing is, Pisces, we all have different beliefs. I don't go to church, I, I look at life as a way of living. Whatever you believe in, you believe in, right? But judge, justice is like person going to court, person lurking, seeing what you, you know, what you're doing, what they, you know, like what are you doing? What kind of information can I get, right? But also, um, And this could be in a relationship. It could be with somebody you know. You might be taking somebody to court. Whatever it is. But it's somebody here that looking, lurking, right? Um, Maybe something happened in a relationship with somebody that you was involved with, right? And maybe uh, a woman is taking you to court or a man, whatever it is. But justice will be served. All this finger pointing, you did, I did, you did, I did, oh, blah, 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 blah. Because that's what people go to court for. Judgment is when you point at people and you see the wrong in people and people see the wrong in you. And you can't get shit right in this home. Right? And they look, they go around there and look and see what you're doing. Take pictures, take notes, evidence, whatever it is information whatever information they can get right because now i'm gonna use this on you or i'm gonna you know i'm gonna take care of this or i'm lurking i'm going through social media or i'm asking people about you or it's the same circle of people that you with and they're with like y'all have people people know people people do you know what i mean um but somebody here looking asking right um, if somebody talk about you or bring something here to um, to anything, anything, when I mean anything, anything, okay? That's what it means. It means I'm going to get whatever information I can get, whatever information I can gather, whatever I can get on a situation, all right? But it's about what's going on in someone's house, how, what somebody's doing, right? It's like I need to know what's going on in there. All right, and, and I can ask anybody because it's like everybody know everybody, right? People know people. People work. It's like people that know people and people be together. You may work with this person. You may have had a friendship with this person. Um, y'all, people know people, right? So it's easy to ask. It's easy for people to give out information and maybe give out the wrong information or the right information, but whatever it is. It's information gathered, and it's about a home. It's something that's going on and wanting to know what's going on in here or there, right? Or finger pointing. A lot of finger pointing here. All right? Tell me more. Right? Making a choice, but it's a false person here. A false person. And a false person is... Somebody with a mask on, somebody that makes you feel good, makes you, I mean, that's what I want. And we always want what ain't right for us. 
I mean, so this person can, you know, make you feel good. And I'm telling you, it's only one thing about them that makes you feel good. It's whatever you have that sexual thing with this person. Obsession with sex. Obsession with drugs. Having party. Drinking. That's all that's here is being offered. It's like there is something around you that is not good for you, but it's what you like. It's what you're attracted to. It's what you bring to yourself, right? And when you bring people like this into your life, what the hell can you expect? What do you What do you think you're going to get from it, right? No matter what it is, that's what you're looking for. That's what you're going to get, all right? So it's like Pisces. It, it, this can be messy, but then again, you can be out of this, right? And it can be with anything. It can be things that's going on that something had to do. You might have had a friend or you're not friends no more. And over a, a, a relationship, people involved, family, friends. It's like a, a group of people that people be with. And that's what they, they, it's like people know people. People want information from other people. All right. People take people because I can use you as a witness. I can use you, you know, because we know what's going on. But whatever it is, whoever this is, or whatever it is around you, it's like, yeah, make a choice. But it's nothing good. It's nothing positive from this person that was there. And it's like, come on here, because if you choose me, I got something else for you, and it's not going to be good. Like, it is like, it makes you feel, it's like something that makes me feel good is not good for me. But they come in with lies and deception. All right, that's what it is. Tell me more about this community and this love. It's like people know that you're good, but this person comes with a lot, and this person's around a lot of people. All right, they love being around a community, they love being around a people. This can be a job or somewhere where you work, or like you and this person know people, they know people, like y'all around the same clique, or y'all know each I don't know. All right. The nine of cups. Well, this is what I dream of. This is what I want. This is what makes me happy. Look, look at the man here. Oh, you know, I can sex her up. I can tell her what I want. I can promise her the world. Right? I can it's like you you ever been okay, this is like this. Just just say I'm with somebody, right? And I think I'm with this person, right? I, I want to be committed to this person. I want to be around their friends. They're around my friends. We know each other, blah, blah, blah. But outside of you, their friends know who they really are. They know that they, this person is full of shit. They know that this, they, they really know who this person are outside of you. Like this, it's like my friend know everything I do. My friend know who I sleep with, who I play with, who I really like. My my crowd of people know that, you know, it's like a crowd of people that knows them and really know you and know what you do. It's like my friends know what I do, right? My friends know what I do. And, okay, my friends know that I'm not really into you. My friends know that I'm not, that, that okay, she, this is the one for him, but he's not into her. He has a whole bunch of people. Or, um, you know, it's like I, I can tell her everything I got to offer her, but I really don't have nothing because she's like everybody else, right? And they sit there and then it's like they, it's like you or them sit there and you are obsessed because I don't call this love. I call this an obsession of how you see it that you want it to be. But in reality... This person's around a lot of people, and people know they who they really care for, who they really like, who they play with, and, and they know they know this person be true for who they really, really are. Okay, but this is a community. Many people know many aspects or the shadow side of a relationship with a person, and you may give a person all the love and everything you got to give them. But this person, um, or you may be obsessed, or you think you're in love with somebody, or because it's a feeling that someone gives you of, I 
can build this. I can I can see myself with a person like this, but no. Uh uh. Tell me about this lurking and judgment in a home. And I got all the tools to make this can work good and this can be a delusional thing. It can be what I make the judge believe or I can make people believe, right? I can do this for good or I can do it for the bad. Or I can play mind games with you and make you always think and see things the way I see it, right? I can make things feel like you've seen it, but I can make it disappear at the same time. I can be anything I want in your life. I can make things happen. And that's what they do. They, they lurk around because they can make lies up. They can make whatever they want for you to believe. Okay? For you to believe. This is, this is a jack of all trades. A jack of all trades. Right? Remember, you got justice here, judgment, and you have a house, and then you have somebody that, that has, they can play anything and everything they want. And look at this. Check it out, Pisces. You got a heart, a choice, and that, at the end, you're going to have to go one, one way or the other. You got a false person around you, and then you got the lovers. Remember, a decision, and then you got judgment. The lovers and the decision, judgment, okay? So, there's love, but it got a money on top of it. It's all about money and judgment. All, everything's coming out of the skeleton. Everything's coming out of the grave. All right? Everybody's looking at this man. All of these women are coming out the grave. And you sitting behind there looking at all of this shit revealing itself to you. All right? And this man is standing on a tree. But got all of these people coming out of the grave. All the skeletons. And this man is saying, but I love you. And, and all the shit is coming out like you you will find out all the shit because it's a false situation here but it's a choice all right somebody maybe want to come and, and lie and say bullshit that ain't even real but they got so much shit hidden right and they could do they it's like they they want they it's like they could talk a good game and make you believe something that it's not right and they got everything to make it real, to make it seem like it's really real. Cause I'm gonna keep you in confusion. All right, I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna take whatever it is. We can go to court. We can do it. But all the skeletons about this thing is gonna come out. But you're sitting there. Look how you sitting there behind the tombstone, and they all looking at this wise person, very wise, and I mean wise. Got a lot of tricks up their sleeve. Right? Want you to believe shit. Tell me more about this nine of cups. What what is here? What is this nine of cups here? Tell me more about this nine of cups. The king of wands. I could cook anything up for you. The king of wands is somebody fiery. Somebody that um can can want to, you know, oh, I can take you here, I can take you there. I can make it seem like so good, right? And and it can be very lazy too, right? Very lazy. I can love you. Yeah, I can love you. Oh, yes, I can. And I love being in the party. I love the life that this full of happiness, full of drinking, partying, hanging out. All right, love that. Love it, right? But then I fantasize on. Like okay, I fantasize of being with you, but I, but I just love the 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 liveness that goes on when I'm drinking and having a blast, right? And I make everything right. I can make things seem like it's so good, right? Because I'm that fire sign, right? I like the the sex. I like the drinking. I like to cook. I like to entertain, honey. I love what, how it makes me feel. It's like a person that they love action. They love to be around celebrations. That's how they get what they want. That's how they meet different people. And they there for the night. Let's see who I can take home tonight. Let me see who I can play with tonight. All right. And keep you. But I love you. But I love everybody else. Love the community. Love it. The musician. The lovers, Gemini's showing up like crazy. 
but I love you, but then look at their eyes. And you're like, okay, I love you too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll take you back. But then look, it's like I can play games, a trickster, what I want you to believe. All right? I can make you believe anything I want. Come on, Pisces, get out of this shit. You don't need this bullshit. Tell me more about this lover and this judgment. You sitting there with all the shit's revealing to you, all the skeleton. Look at this. To six of cups, somebody that you very familiar with. Somebody that very familiar. Somebody that's in your past. You might have kids. They might have kids. Maybe not from you. Maybe from somebody else. But somebody that you're familiar with. All right? Somebody that has a lot of choices. And remember, a lot of choices. Right? A lot. Somebody that's not real around you. Somebody that you you the one seeing things. You see it. You see all these women looking at him because I'm wise. I'm very wise. But you behind there. Right? It's like all of these skeletons coming up and they're looking at you and you're hiding behind there. And they're lying because they, this person's a liar. But wants to come back, reminisce on you. I think about you because you're the one. I mean, okay, you want to think about me because I'm the one. Ain't that a bitch? But full of lies, deceptions, all right? It's like, I, oh, I care for you, but I love. It's like they want to lie all the time. But on the side, they looking on the side. They hugging you, but looking at the door. They they hugging you, but I think it's like I, I'm with you, but, I, but when I'm with you, I think about Suzanne. I think about dying, whatever it is, but but I'm with you, all right? Because it's a delusional shit that they want you to believe in. The king of wands, the king of wands. For Pisces, they know you're very smart, too. Look at this. Somebody likes to come in and cut shit off. Somebody got a smart-ass fucking mouth. Air, all right? Very fast. They move fast. When they come in, they want to move fast. It's like they're coming in and out. Speedy Gonzalez, Why? The seven of the cup, they, they got a lot to choose from. A lot. And they come with a lot of shit. Oh, I can I, I can tell you good, I can tell you bad. I can I mean a snake, a bat. I, I'll tell you what you want to hear. But I'm gonna come in fast because I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear. Whatever you want to hear is what I'm gonna tell you. Alright? Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about this lover. This person's never satisfied with anything they got. I don't give a fuck who they live with. What they got. They're not never their life is never satisfied. They're always looking for the next best thing. They chase shit. Right? Now, you waiting on this seven of uh, pinnacles. You you looking at this money, this bag of money, Pisces. But look, somebody's protecting what they got. Right? It's like I'm gonna protect my family, but you looking to gain something from this person. You want money or whatever it is that you want to gain. All right, going to court with it. Whatever it is, it's like you want to gain it. Right? But you're planning this. You're not stupid. Oh, you want to protect, motherfuckers? You want to protect what you got, but you don't want to give me shit? All right, I got something for your ass. That's what you're telling them. You want to protect somebody else? You want to act like they're more important than me? And you want to protect whatever you got going on? All right, but I'm going to still gain some of that money. Right? I don't give a fuck who you protecting, your family, your lover, whatever. But you want you want to gain something from it. It's like it's and, and I'ma say something to you. Right? Don't go to bed with people for nothing. Cause you know what, Pisces? Holes in the street. A hole in the street get paid. And that's some real shit. So if somebody wants to play with you or whatever it is, you're going to gain something. But they're protecting everything over you. All right? It's like somebody here, they they really, they, they're, they're creepy to me the way that they are. It's like sleeping with the enemy around the enemy. Right? Somebody that's looking, lurking. But they're enemies, but you think they want the best for you. Right? Or once upon a time you thought they wanted the best for you. So they give you their bread from you. They gaslight you. Alright? But this is what they're good at. But they protect what they want over you. 
It's like, I choose this and I'm a protector, but I'll play with you and I'll throw you this and that and that and this. Or it's somebody that you, it's somebody here that, that probably knew you, a friend. Or, but it's, it's a lot of people that's involved, all right? And a lot of crazy stuff is going on. But they protecting someone with their dear life. Now, I, you can get this off of me, but I, I'm not telling you shit about what I'm really doing or what's going on in my life. All right? Now, the Six of Cups, getting the strength to deal with this shit, right? Taming the lion, that means taming yourself, dealing with a situation calmly, not acting crazy. Because when you're calm, you get what you want and you get more information and things open up, right? And when you learn to listen without talking, you gain a lot. I mean, you're going to gain a lot of information here. But you got to be calm and you got to listen to what's going on, right? Because somebody here is really, really, really a trickster. Really like to make a picture look like everything is right when it's not. They liars, right? They creepy to me. They very creepy. It's like you look at this person sometimes, you're like, what the fuck? You up to something. And I know you are. But I got to get the strength to deal with it. And, and that means, you know, you might want to play with this person. This person, like, okay, like, you good. Like, I, I just want to use them for sex. No, they using you. They, they, hey, stop that. Stop it. I'm throwing this shit away. I'm sick of this. They, look, at, look at this shit here. It's like, they using you. So don't ever think that you're using a person. Because this person is playing with you. All right? This person knows how to manipulate a situation. And they did it. And guess what? Sometimes when you deal with people like this, right? I'm sorry, Pisces. I'm cleaning this mess that this little dog is doing. Sometimes when you deal with people like this, um, you really think that, oh, they, they you know, I'm going to get them back or I'm going to do this on whatever it is that you're doing. This person got more tricks under their sleeve than you can even think about. Right? So you got to look at this person like this person got too much shit with them. But remember, if you give somebody that energy to come into your life and play these games and you don't know how to shut the door completely and you leave the door open, that's how they come in and out to do shit. To play with your intelligence in your mind. All right? You got to know how to move. You got to be the one staying a step ahead of shit. And I had to learn that the hard way, Pisces. Do you understand how many times I tell a person, oh, well, come over. And I know good fucking well that their intentions is not good. All right? But, oh, I like to have sex with them. And I like to, and, and I'm going to say something. I'm not a person that likes to drink and party. That's not me. Right? And this person loves to drink and party. And so, if you just say that you was, that it's something that you want to celebrate, you know what they're going to say to you? I bring the party to you. But what is the party? The sex, the drinking, the smoking, and what is it? It's not nothing that it values to you. Right? It's, I'm going to get you fucked up. I'm going to get you drunk, and then I'm going to have sex with you. Who does that? The devil. The devil doesn't give you a good life. It gives you a taste of sugar. It gives you a fix so you can keep coming back. And believing they lies. Right? At the bottom, you get the strength to end it. You get the strength to get over something. And something here has to end for you to gain something new. And the way I look, this is the best death card that you can think of. The 13th, right? Look at this Pisces, the number 13. But look at the way it is. This woman, whoever you are, right, Pisces, you have to go and gain your mind, your heart, and everything. It's like um, the Wizard of Oz, she had to go back and gain all her knowledge. She had to go through a journey to wake up and see reality that it was all a show. That all, everybody, she went to gain parts. And you met people along the way. 
brought you to be who you are, to give you the strength to use your mind, your heart, your wisdom, and your knowledge to know the fucking difference, to end something once and for all. A tricks to people that are not worth being in your life. They are there to teach you lessons after lessons after lessons. You get the strength and you gain everything you gain. To move you in the right direction. To say, I'm really done with this because it's not for me. And that's what it's about, Pisces. Gaining your knowledge. And knowing the difference. To make a difference in your life. Because you are the only one that can create what you want. But if you stay stuck with the devil, you get nothing but fake promises, delusional, obsession, because this ain't love. Do you understand? If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. And I don't care who you get it from. All right? I really don't. But this is a general reading. Fit it where it fit. And if it don't fit you, don't make it fit. But if it fits you, it's a general reading, all right? If you want to know more about your own situation, get a private reading. Invest in yourself. You invest enough in other people. Invest in yourself, all right? And get it from whoever you want. And again, at the bottom of the cup, the six of cups, somebody that you are very well familiar with. You're familiar with this person. You know, to say nobody knew, you know. All right, Pisces, I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.